Dr. Fuad Ali, member of the CPIM from Kolkata, Lenin Kumar and Albina Shakil, president and former president of the JNU Students Union. They are joining us from JNU. Nilanjana Chakrabarti is a social activist, and Shivam Vij is a journalist and blogger. First, uh, Lenin and uh, Albina, if I can come to you, you know, this protest today, do you feel that it has had the right effect, it was the right thing to do? Because the Students' Federation of India feels it was called for, but the CPM party leadership seems to be apologetic for it. Uh, I, first of all, I want to say that uh, everybody cutting across political party lines or organizations or non-political people, everybody is upset at Sudipto's custodial death. And there should be a movement against it. But what happened today is certainly not the kind of rowdyism, infantile rowdyism, irresponsible behavior that is not what Sudipto merits or deserves. And I think that the CPM has to introspect a little bit about the fact that if it is a call by the SFI, by students, then why on earth are CPM people indulging in everything? Should CPM be making Sudipto's issue into a CPM issue or should it allow it to be broad based? And secondly, that is Trinamool. Whatever happened today shouldn't be happening. But if Trinamool goes and starts taking vengeance, then they too have no moral authority left to then say that something unfair happened to them today. That's a good point. Uh, Hello? Lenin, what do you think? Uh, I think today the protest is uncalled for it. We appeal to entire student community and democratic section, let's unite and deliver a justice for the student who sacrificed his life for the democratic value. Today what is happening is not a democratic echo. Also we believe it's a politicking actually. So I believe this should be stopped. We appeal to the CPM leadership to stop politicking and please let the students should come and do their protest. Don't take the student movement into your hand actually. Let the students should decide what the protest they want. Let the democratic no, so you support. decide no, what so they you, want. Lenin, Lenin, you support. Today, today the Students Federation of India, Chief Rita Brata comes out and says wherever Mamta Banerjee goes, she will be greeted by such protests. As a student leader, you feel that's all right. You feel that... I agree with this point. You agree with him? No. I disagree with his. No, I disagree with him. I disagree with him. The mode of protest the SFI done today, or CPM done today. I disagree with him. There is a way to protest. I believe this is not a way. This is not a protest. This is not a way. The Sudito who sacrificed his life actually. He sacrificed life for democratic value. Today he sacrificed life not for this. Shivam, which what do you make of the protest today? You know, it did cross the line a little bit out there, especially when they started manhandling the West Bengal Industries Minister. Arnab, I just saw a uh, press release by SFI that says that there was no heckling, but we are sorry for the torn kurtas, and the media is blowing this out of proportion, and it's not as if we used iron rods. So if you just look at this kind of language, uh, they don't seem to be apologetic, even, even apologetic about it. I think there's just a continuation of the violence that began from Sudipto Gupta, and I think we'll see more violence from both sides. I believe uh, CPM offices have been ransacked in West Bengal by TMC workers. I think there's a virus in the political body system of West Bengal, uh, and there seem to be no antivirus for it. No, but is there some is there some scale of the retribution, or you believe any level of retribution is okay today? If Party office, if, if 100 party offices of the left are also targeted and attacked, you think that's all right, it's appropriate, it was asked for? No, no, uh, it's not all right at all. Some, somebody needs to tell both of them to have faith in democracy. It's very interesting. Bo both sides keep using words like democracy and democratic rights. But when you manhandle a minister, when you ransack the uh, offices of the opposition party, it clearly shows you have no faith in democracy. The legislature, the elections, nothing matters. You don't have faith in those things. No, because but did they come? I'm not like, these from violent means. Doctor, Dr. Yeah. Fuad Halim, I don't know what information you have, but the Trinamool Congress and the Chief Minister is saying they had an iron rod. They tried to hit me and they can kill me, but they can't stop me. Is that an overstatement from the Chief Minister? My first uh, reaction is the incident that took place in front of Yojana Bhavan. Our party has already come out with a statement uh, stating that it is unwarranted. It was uncalled for, unfortunate. Sorry. That should not have happened. That is our party stand. Now, uh, having said that, uh, I, I would not have continued uh, my discussion. My following words actually 
flow from this uh, from the sequence of events that have followed since morning what is happening in West Bengal. Because uh, if you understand what is happening in West Bengal at this moment, uh, we've got one party office that has been totally demolished in Barrackpur. We've got violence in Siliguri. We have uh, uh, MLA Abdul Razak Mullah who has been attacked. His uh, bomb has been hurled as, at his jeep. We have Sudarshan uh, Rai Chaudhary, an ex-member of parliament who has been assaulted as of this evening. And there are other incidents I can continue with a long list. Now this is what is happening in Bengal at the moment. In retrospect, what I understand, if this is happening in Bengal this evening, <coughs> then in the morning, one would have appreciated a little bit more statesman-like behavior from the chief minister and her cabinet colleagues by avoiding the protesters. I, I have reason to believe, uh, I may be wrong, that the resident commissioner had informed her and the cabinet colleagues, her cabinet colleagues, that there is a protest going on over there. The Delhi police, if they were not informed that the protest was there and the chief minister and her colleagues were supposed no, are to... Are you pass, suggesting, are you suggesting, uh, Dr. Fawad no, Halim? No, let are you suggesting... Let, no, 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 one minute, one minute, one uh, minute, Dr. Halim. No, 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 Dr. Halim. I need to complete this Dr. Halim. I need to complete... Are you suggesting she invited the attack? On herself. The behavior that was there, the, the, the behavior uh, of, of the protesters of there was still uncalled for, uh, unwarranted and unfortunate. That is the party stand. No, are you saying that she, she knew she that she would be attacked but yet she went there? Is that what you are suggesting? Uh, that, that, what, I, what I am suggesting is that the Trinumul Congress party when they led an entire bunch of MLAs to vandalize the assembly, they have no statement subsequent to that condemning Dr. that incident. When the Trinamool Congress attacked Dr. Halim, Ganesh Gain, Dr. Fuad Halim, listen to me. No, no, Dr. Fuad Halim, listen to me. No, Dr. Fuad Halim, you so, see, you, you must be clear where you stand on this. Are you saying, then I'll get a reaction from Nilanjana Chakrabarti on this on how she feels about Are you saying that the police and others informed Mamta Banerjee and her minister that there would be trouble if they were to go to the planning commission and yet they went and hence I, they were I, I would asking for I, trouble? I would definitely like that. I would definitely like to understand as to what transpired uh, regarding the security si situation of the chief minister of West Bengal arriving at the Yojana Bhavan gate. Definitely I would like to understand uh, what, what discussions were taken up at the security level. Well, I get, I'd like to get in Nilanjana at this stage. Uh, Shivam, I'll get your reaction in on this because Nilanjana, what, what do you think is going to be the impact of what has happened and do you feel the Trinamool Congress would also have lost the plot by beginning to attack party officers across West Bengal? Uh, look, Arno, uh, to be very honest with you, I think violence begets violence. Whether it is any party, whether it is the Trinamool or the Congress or the CPM, I mean, democracy is certainly in danger. The kind of violence for uh, various issues and causes, I mean, th there's no end to it.